welcome to educational channel so in this video i'll explain you the complete topic all the topics from this banking chapter so especially for class 10th icsc maths so let us see each and every topic in this including example problems also i'll explain okay and before that i'm providing one link in description below you can see the website name so other subjects information is also available from this website you can go through it fine you can download all the papers and topic wise uh, chapter wise also you can find out the material is available in this website you can go through for all the boards fine now let us see this one so in this banking the first one how to calculate of interest on recurring deposit so okay first of all what is recurring deposit so if any person is paying some amount every month so monthly if you deposit and after a certain period so if you get the amount back so what are the interest is calculated so how the interest should be calculated if you deposit every month generally we have the formula for simple interest we learn in previous classes that is a simple interest we will learn already so for example if you take simple interest formula is a ptr by 100 so principal into time into rate of interest divided by 100 so this is the simple interest formula for normal banking problems but in recurring deposit is this is every month so suppose uh, amount p rupees we are paying every month so let me take one example okay for example first we take one number now one person is paying 200 rupees every month so first month he will pay 200 and second month he will pay again two more hundred third month again more 200 like this is paying around completely one year that means one year into one year is a 12 months right so 12 into 200 so 2400 is total principal but we should calculate first one month for out of 200 only we should calculate interest but when you come to the second month 200 plus 200 so out of 400 rupees you should calculate the calculate the interest okay first month only out of 200 you should calculate the interest but when you come to second month this first second month is paid 200 but previous 200 plus is 200 400 rupees you should calculate the interest and for third month third month again he paid 200 but we need to calculate interest for 600 okay this is the pattern now let us take for example p is the fixed month p is the suppose uh, rupees p per month is depositing every uh, month in the bank now for example if you pay it uh, 12 months that means 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on plus till 12 we should add because first month into p and second month means number 2 into same amount and for third case for example here is 2 is 1 into 200 and this is 2 into 200 and this is a 3 into 200 so 200 is fixed that's why 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on till 12 months if it is 1 year if there are n months we can take in the place of 12 is n so that's simple in the place of 12 we will take the n ok 1 plus 2 plus so on up to n months this n is the number of months now we know the formula sigma n that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on till n is equals to n into n plus 1 by 2 so sigma n is equals to n into n plus 1 by 2 then p into in the place of 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on till n we can write n into n plus 1 by 2 divided by 2 n into n plus 1 by 2 this is the total principle is calculated now time and rate of interest so in the place of p we should take p into n into n plus 1 by 2 see how to calculate the interest now so based on this so let me write formula simple interest you should first if you know the formula you can easily can substitute the values simple interest formula is generally ptr by 100 so in the place of p we should take this total value because every month we need to calculate interest so p into n into n plus 1 by 2 because n into n plus 1 by 2 is formula for sum of the, the n numbers that is the principle and time so time is uh, actually this is for every month so 1 by 12 because uh, one month if you convert it to the years is 1 by 12 
into same rate of interest is R whole divided by 100. So R by 100 you can take. That's it. So this is the formula of a simple interest in a recurring deposit. Okay. Now you can write the formula clearly. Therefore, again if you want to find out the maturity value. And maturity value is along with the deposit amount, the simple interest should be added. Now every month is rupees P like the total N months. If it is 12 months, 200 means 12 into 2. So 2400. This is the total deposit amount plus interest. That is simple interest. So this is for maturity value. So after certain period, how many, is it 2 years or 3 years, after certain period, whatever the amount we should get, there is a maturity value. So maturity value formula is P into N plus simple interest. And simple interest itself is the formula is this. Okay, P into N into N plus 1 by 2 into 1 by 12 into R by 100. So these two formulas only use completely in this uh, banking chapter. So nothing more. Only these two formulas only will apply. So let us take one question first. Calculation of interest on recurring deposit. So let me write the question and we will solve. Let us see each and every topic next. Okay, for example, let me write the question here. Kiran deposited rupees 200 per month. Okay, every month is depositing uh, 200 rupees for 36 months. 36 months it deposits continuing in a bank. In a bank. That is in bank's uh, recurring deposit. If it is recurring deposit word only, we should use this formula. Recurring deposit account. Okay. And if the bank pays interest at 11%, if the bank pays interest at 11%, per annum interest is per annum then find the interest he gets find the interest interest amount he gets right at the end of the day how much amount you get only interest you need to calculate in this so this is the question is depositing 200 rupees per month so monthly we should take so from the question let so here that is given p is equals to rupees 200 so p value is rupees 200 and number of months is n so n is equals to 36 months 36 months so n is equal to 36 and r value is given rate of interest is 11 percent Per annum. So rate of interest is always for annum. And it, since it deposited 36 months total. Now if you observe, only we need to find out the interest in this formula. Therefore, simple interest formula you take. Simple interest is as we discussed previous. This is just apply. That is P into N into N plus 1 by 2 into 1 by 12 into R by 100. So you know already how to got you got this formula. Just substitute this all the values. So p value is um, 200 into n into n plus 1. So 36 into 36 plus 1 is 37 by 2 into 1 by 12 and r value is 11. So 11 by 100. This if you simplify that is a simple interest to audit it. So you can cancel 12 1s are 12 3s are 36. And 100 ones are 100, 2 is 200. This 2 to get cancelled. Then finally 3 into 37 into 11. So 37 into 3 into 11 is 33. 37 into 33 is so 1221. That's it. Therefore, interest. So simple interest, what, she, uh, what he get is simple interest on account to this problem that is 1221 rupees. Right. Okay. This is the only simple interest if you asked. Main thing is these two formulas you just try to remember. Simple interest and maturity value. 
okay again let me explain some more questions how to find out the maturity value so on this recurring deposit we'll see now 